Hi, everybody. Welcome to Paper Wishes Weekly Webisodes. I'm Lene Garrig, and you guys, today from our friends at Hunky Dory Crafts, I have this great collection of pop-up steppers. They are little three-dimensional cards. I have them in all these different varieties. Look at this. They fold down flat for mailing, and then the recipient just pops them open like that. And there's a great little space to add your message. These are so quick and easy to put together. And this is our giveaway card for this episode. So if you stick around, you'll learn how one lucky viewer can win this card to keep or share with a friend. So come play with us. All right, let's take a look at this first one. This is the Make-A-Wish Pop-Up Stepper. And at the end, I'm gonna show you how to assemble these. But I wanna go through all the different elements and the different varieties that we have, themes. So on the back, you get step-by-step -step instructions, really, really simple to put together. Um, the only tools you need is some kind of adhesive. I'm using this little double stick tape. We've also got some foam tape. I thought little tiny scissors worked great and some kind of bone folder is nice. Um, yeah, step-by-step, -step, 11 step-by-step -step instructions. You get the envelope, these fold flat and just lay right in there. They make a little gra great flat mail. And then all of these pieces are just being punched out and assembled very easily. So that's the birthday one. I also, on this birthday one, added little granddaughter to kind of personalize it and I use these family and friends dazzle stickers. I use these several other times as well and I also added some tiny little gold stars and I'll add all of these to the supply list down below so if you're watching us on our Paper Wishes webisode page you can click on each one of the full color photos and it'll give you a supply list but we also have everything just listed down below it's a little less specific in the supply list and you can pick and choose. We also have a fantastic money saver. It's right over there on the right hand side. And as I said, this is our giveaway card for this episode. So how that works is we'd like you to watch this video on our Paper Wishes YouTube channel. And there's a little link right down here get you there. And we ask that you, first of all, become a member for YouTube. So subscribe to our channel and then like and then leave a comment on that and then we're going to wait about a week and then we're going to pick one lucky viewer we're going to reply to their comment by saying congratulations and then we'll use your specific youtube username for the winner it can only be one and then we'll give you instructions on how to claim your card so definitely participate that and there's information at the end of the video as well if you want that all right let's take a look at this one this is the garden shed here we go so cute look at that folds flat once again and then this one I just put a little mom on there also from that same little set so cute and then this one is another round so cute this one little bar set up right here and this one I just put a little dad dazzle sticker right there on the glass really cute look at the dimension on that Right, and then, oh, here is Safari Adventure. This one was so cute. So this one, I put happy birthday using the little black tiny words and phrases dazzle stickers, which I'm going to find, here they are. And then I went ahead and added grandson to that using the family and friends dazzles as well. Once again, super cute, holds flat. And this one, oh, it's so cute. I love this one. This is out of this world with a cute little astronaut. I love. This one, I added a little jewel border dazzle sticker in gold. This one, here we go, the holographic. I added some more of those little star dazzle stickers. And then also the happy birthday dazzle sticker there. So cute. And here we go. Here are those. I use the white ones, but they come in this three pack with all these colors. There three or four? There's three. All right, and now this one, a bouquet for you. This is sweet. It says birthday, and then at the top, put happy. And this one I decorated with that gold border dazzle, jewel border dazzle right here. And then I also added some adorable little dazzle butterflies in gold. And these come in a three pack and I use these gold holographic ones. So cute to add those. I like to use just a little pokey tool when removing those. 
And I think I've got my little pokey tool buried here somewhere. But I'll list that down below as well. It's just, if you don't have one, it's just a really handy tool to have. Oh, it's buried somewhere. So anyway, that's a great one to have as well. And then this last one, you guys, we're gonna put together. This one is the beautiful bicycle. I have this one already out of the pack right here. Okay, so we've got our instructions. First thing you do is just evacuate this from the background. So just pull this out, real easy punch out. And then we've got all these little pieces as well. These little tab things are what makes it pop up and go up and down. You just have to be careful around the tabs so you don't get too enthusiastic when you're punching out. Or they will rip. There you go. Oh, there's a piece in the middle there that wants to come out and I had my thumb on it. There we go. And then you just turn it over here and make sure you have everything punched out. Sometimes there's extra little bits. There we go. Doesn't that look great? And it has the little fold lines and it's labeled A right there. And then we're gonna just go ahead and take all these pieces. And then all of these are gonna get little bits of foam tape put on them. And we have foam tape by the roll and we also have little squares of foam tape and I'll list both of those down below in the products to use so you can determine which is best for you. I like using the foam roll because it's just really economical. You have this giant roll and it's easy to cut into whatever length you want. Oh, forgot this little one right there. Just look at all these fun little pieces. Okay, and then what I like to do is on the backs of these, sometimes the little tabs will stick out there and I just like to turn them over and like clip off some of those tabs so that they're not kind of fuzzy. Like these are not gonna show right there, but edges right here would show. All right, and then we're gonna fold this one to the back. And then you can just take your little bone folder and just go like that. And then this one right here is a fold here and a fold here. And you just wanna fold this one. So this is a valley and this is a mountain. So it's like this. Okay, and then this one, we're gonna tape that down. So I'm just gonna take, this is my, this is great stuff because you can just tear it. And we have this in two widths. This is the one eighth and then it also comes in, I think, that, this is the one quarter. I think it comes in three eighths as well. But I think that um, the one quarter works nicely because it fits on the little tabs really nicely. All right, so that's gonna be your base. And then when you fold this up, you'll notice there's a little bit of a pattern right there on it. When you fold it up, it's gonna match the bottom edge of this. All right, and then this piece right here, this is A, we're gonna fold this one up too. And this one's B. Like that. And then the most important thing on this one is we're gonna put that tape right next to the fold. Okay, oops, like this. And then I like to cut it so it has just a nice even edge. We're gonna peel this off. And we're gonna do the same on the B piece. Just like that. All right, and then you just wanna make sure you burnish that and get that on there really nicely. And then we're gonna take little lengths of this and we're gonna put it, there's a fold here I should mention. There's a fold here and then there's a fold here. Okay, they're, and they're scored so you can see them. And then we're gonna put a little bit right here. Turn that over and just cut that even. And we're going to put this one right here. This. Like 
All right. So this is the A piece, and we're just gonna stick this right here on the little A panel. You just align it right there, like that. And then here's the B piece. And we're going to place that one right there. All right, and then these little pieces right here, I found it's best just to remove the back piece and then fold them down like this and then go ahead and close, fold up the card. Like this. So that when you open it, and this part is straight right here, they're nice and aligned. So let's do that with this one too. So much easier than try to figure out the spacing. We're gonna fold these all the way down like this. And then we're gonna fold this up, like, like make it flat. All right, and see everything is aligned. And then all of these little bits are gonna get foam tape put on those. So let's take a break and then we'll come back and then I'll have all the foam tape on and we'll put them on. All right, so I've already got some of the foam taped pieces on here, but the layering, put foam tape on one little piece that's on a piece that has two, that then gets put on this piece. So this one has three layers and it's gonna get put right over this one right here. So cute. And then this one right here, perfect for the little basket right here. And I just sort of take this leaf and align it here, and this leaf and align it here. And that's how I do that. Got the butterflies already on there. And then this one right here that fits right on the little bicycle basket. And this last one fits right over that one. So you've got all these adorable layers. This lays fat for, <laughs> flat for, for mailing. And it's just so cute. You can put a little dazzle sticker here for a little message and then write your message on the inside. You guys, this is such a great little collection and they're so fun to do. I had a great time just watching TV yesterday and putting all these little foam tape bits together. We've got a fantastic money saver. It's right over there. Don't forget about that. And then this one is our giveaway. So definitely participate in that. So as you can see, all seven of these are just must-haves. They're really fun to put together. Thanks for joining me today, you guys. I'll see you in the next one.